I had a little fun with a Russian bot recently. And I know that not every Trump supporter on the internet is a Russian bot. It just gets so sad thinking about Americans wasting their time defending Trump for free when there are Russian bots getting paid to do the exact same thing. In Russia, it's a job to pretend to like Trump. These dumbasses are doing it for nothing. It's like they're interning to be Russian bots, which is double sad because they're definitely not getting class credit for it because according to polls, they did not go to school. <laughs> So I call them Russian bots, even though it's probably more accurate to call them something else, like suckers. So one of these suckers recently commented, this video doesn't show all the things Trump did that saved millions of lives. And then he commented like 30 more times with things that Trump did to stop coronavirus. That's what made me realize that I had been wrong about Trump and the GOP and tax cuts for billionaires. I'm kidding, I started messing with him. And here's the thing, some of those comments were straight up fiction, but most of them were this fucking A for effort bullshit, like mentioning coronavirus in the State of the Union. Oh my God, thanks so much for mentioning it, that really helped. And it's like, great, you found a list of half-assed things that Trump may have done, but 76,000 people are dead and that number is still climbing. Whatever he may have done, it didn't work. All those comments are basically just a list of his mistakes. So I begin to delete his comment. And as I'm doing that, I realize I'm giggling, thinking about how much easier it is for me to delete comments than it is for him to write them. And that's when I saw his most recent post. I've been sending some information in the comments showing how false this post is. And knowing full well that I had deleted them all, I responded, you have? Where? I've been spamming the comments with a timeline. Where? On what video? This video. I don't see anything. 